Hello, I'm FDX Soycat and welcome back to this video. So as a lot of you do already know, my favourite way of playing Minecraft is in survival. And one of the things you might also be aware of is when I play survival, I tend to work on really strange different stuff. Because I'm playing as survival every single week, I'm trying to like mix things up and I do lots of strange different things and people are like, Soycat, that's a weird project. And I get that all the time and that's a fine thing. However, one of the big questions I also get is then, Toycat, so what weird project are you working on right now? Or Toycat, what are you just doing in survival right now? Because I'm bored and I want to kind of have some ideas. So today I think they talk about my biggest project ever. It's not one you can necessarily replicate yourself, but maybe you get some inspiration from seeing just how weird the world looks halfway through this project, and hopefully you do enjoy the video, showing it all off and explaining what's going on here. So like this video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like weird and goofy projects like this one, uh, but let's get straight into explaining what exactly is going on here, because this is my realm survival, this is pretty much all the survival I've been playing on the brand new version of Minecraft on the Xbox, um, and yeah, like I said, it's set up on my realm, so sometimes I'll play on my phone, but mostly I'm here playing on my Xbox, and I'm here to destroy a giant old-sized Minecraft Fox world. So, uh, old size, if you don't know, is 256 by 256 by 256, and this entire thing will be destroyed. And right now, we've made some pretty good progress, because this isn't just me in this world. This is the first project I've opened it up, and I've got, like, a few people in here to help me. And as you can see, like, there's a lot of, like, uh, you know, progress that's been made, but you can also see just how much progress that would need to be made, because, you know, 256 by 256 sounds kind of small on the surface, till you really appreciate just how long that is in every direction, and just how many blocks a world actually contains. Because this entire thing you're seeing right now used to be a giant, you know, desert mountain. Now it's just a flat bit of desert, for instance. Uh, there used to be a giant thing at the edge of the world. We've had to, like, turn it into a border so you can see the clear difference between the old and the new. And honestly, it's one of my favorite things just seeing how, like, yeah, if we work on this every day, then we get a little bit closer to the dream of having a fully destroyed world. So, again, for instance, uh, this is, by the way, where the old world ends and the new world begins. What we're gonna have at the end there, almost jumped down there, uh, but what we're gonna have at the end here is we're gonna have a world where, again, there's gonna be nothing but, like, a small chunk in the center where, like, a base will be in some chests, and then the rest of this is gonna be nothing all the way down to bedrock like you can already see we've got in a few places down there look it's gonna be nothing but that all the way along and it's gonna be pretty nuts when we finally achieve that here's gonna be a destroyed chunk for instance and then it's gonna be lots of destroyed chunks and uh, yeah again the, the, the destroying stuff seems like kind of weird on the surface like you're not really doing all of the minecraft stuff but the truth is when you start to see some of the results of the you know the destruction it's almost one of the more impressive things again I, I still recommend like if you like building you gotta stick to that everyone gotta do what they enjoy doing best and destruction can sometimes just be like an enabler for building because the amount of resources we're getting from this is pretty insane but hopefully as you look around here you can see that like there's almost an impressiveness to destruction too like this what used to be here between uh because if you've seen this world before i set this up just because i was like yeah let's start an old survival and i built a house just over there and you can see you know you might have known the house was next to a huge mountain which went like 50 blocks into the sky. Guess what? Mountain's gone now. It's entirely flattened. And there's just this big flat land right here. You can even see like where it turned into a desert here. And it's kind of crazy when you think about, you know, what used to be there and what is there now. And that's some of the more impressive stuff in Minecraft. When you take the destruction of the world into your own hands, it's pretty darn fun. So yeah, what have I been up to over the past few weeks? Long answer, long story short is like a lot of destruction. And the reason behind that destruction is because I've been enjoying doing it a lot. And because, again, some people have been helping me as well. And it leads to this just huge situation where we get a lot of stuff done in not as much time so yeah uh, for instance this past uh, you know just four days alone for instance uh, I, I've been like not so much playing but a lot of people have been doing stuff and together we've achieved stuff like oh yeah well there's just been a lot of desert destroyed if you look in that corner there there used to be a huge mountain you can see how it connects up still it's just entirely decimated as it goes through it there's just a lot of these huge things which recently have been done and uh, it's kind of impressed that way over there used to be a huge forest we've taken down uh, we chopped down all the trees again that took really for some reason chopping down trees is just like an extra slow and annoying thing to me but we chopped down all the trees, and what we did with them is we built this room over here. So this room, as you can see, is a room filled with chests. But then we figured, oh yeah, well we've got a cow farm anyway, why not use the lever to make some item frames, and then label every single chest in this room? Because on this version of the game, there is no limit to your item frames, and it's one of the things I even said in the video, like one of the builds you can only make on this version is you can make a chest room where every single chest is signposted, and it doesn't affect performance. So we're gonna have every single one of these cobblestone chests, which by the way, we're gonna get a lot of cobblestone. Like I'm, I'm expecting to have another set of uh, chests just cobblestone here because when you destroy an entire world we're gonna get a lot of stuff and all of that stuff is gonna be documented here do you want to have some rare weird armor you know in fact i'm gonna put the protection helmet on as well as the the chain chest plate then you can do that in this way so i'm gonna wear the weirdest set of armor in the world look very normal right now uh but yeah because uh you know we're, we're organizing everything into chests and we can do that because of the item frame thing and because we're destroying an entire world there's so many of just so many random resources we're gonna collect here and that's what i think is kind of amazing and fun here we've got the trash system so as you can see trash is marked by like gravel so you can 
can even just store like if you can't find something you put it in here it gets sorted later um, and yeah there's just something kind of extra fun and amazing about this however just for extra function you might be like well this is a world tour so again I think it just make it a little bit more fun we'll take some sand here because I have a bunch of uh, you know uh, gunpowder I'm gonna be doing a whole live stream where I make this a little bit more fun but what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly craft some TNT and we'll detonate that so you can see destruction in its finest form because a lot of people whenever I talk about any form of destruction in Minecraft you know like I'm like oh yeah I'm doing this giant world destruction the number one question I get is like so why don't you just use TNT and the simple answer is because like well I mean that's one you won't actually get the resources back and two um, you know TNT is more expensive like the amount of time it takes you to make one TNT usually I mean in this case because we've got a video but usually it's gonna be way more than it take you just to destroy like 20 blocks like right here for instance if I just destroy these blocks <clears throat> You know, it's not too much effort. I just have to destroy like six or ten, you know, 20 blocks or so. I could use a TNT to destroy this, but the amount of time it takes me to make TNT is way more than the amount of time it's just taking me right now just to do that. So, as you can see, this is, um, by the way, the down area. So, the, uh, as well as destroying the top, we're also destroying from the bottom at the exact same time. And uh, this is just absolutely insane <laughs> uh, to look at. Like, this is going to be the entire old star world. And eventually, you'll be able to see all the way up to the sky from down here. In fact, from a few places, you can already see that. You know, I already showed you over there where you could see all the way up to, uh, down to the bottom or up to the top. But from over here, there's a few blocks where we've done that, just to kind of show it's possible. And it's really, really, uh, again, it's, it's insane if you ask me, just being able to see all the way up there. And it looks great, and it shows, again, in my opinion, the destruction kind of, oh, there's a zombie there, let's get him down. Um, <laughs> it just kind of shows that, like, destruction really does have its uh, special little place. Oh, I can't, I can't get that block. But, yeah, you can see destruction does have its own special place because you get, weir uh, you know, crazy, weird, interesting stuff like this that you wouldn't get otherwise that, again, has its value, in some ways, more value than, um, you know, like, a certain builds. Like, if I'd have built just a giant castle here instead, would it be as impressive to look as this? Maybe it would, but I, I know I've been having a lot of fun doing this because it's just a huge project to organize. And just remember, follow our BX Toy Cat. It feeds the way and kids. So finally, uh, like I said, we got 15 TNT. Let's go detonate that. Let's have the fun because now you know what I'm up to. You know why I've been enjoying this so much. Um, which also, by the way, answers the question of like, so it's like, yeah, not really been enjoying Minecraft too much. I think there's something in Minecraft for everyone. And sometimes we're led to believe that like, oh, the only way you can ever enjoy Minecraft is if you're doing this specific thing someone tells you to do. The truth is, there's so many different ways to enjoy Minecraft. And rather than being like, well, I watched this video showing off the most amazing build in the world. Therefore, that's all I should ever do because that seems impressive. Uh, try and do something you know set a goal of something you'd like to do and then just kind of work towards it and honestly in a lot of cases that's rather fun i'm gonna sleep first actually because you can see the bed system i i don't know why i, I really love like seeing colored beds next to each other like ever since beds came out uh, colored beds came out it's just been a fun thing and as you can see we've got a bed for everyone who's joined the realm so far and it's pretty wonderful so let's just sleep in the bed I'm being attacked by a skeleton. Let's hope he doesn't wake me up. Oh, and I, I did in fact get woken up. So <laughs> uh, we're going to sleep elsewhere instead. So just um, kill that skeleton uh, and then go r r sleep in my actual house. Because again, this used to just be the very first settlement I have. And this this was the original ground level, by the way. Like everything around this has just been lowered because you can see it happens that way. And there's something kind of cool about that as well. So we're going to go to sleep uh, in my regular, just normal red sized bed. You can see my old oldest house in this world, which by the way, it's going to slowly get lower and lower and it's going to look like the world is just getting lower or like, you know, the house is getting higher, but really the, the world is just getting lower around it, which is, again, I think that's cool. So let's let's go detonate some TNT now, and let's show you, like, that sometimes TNT does have its place, though, because if you're just getting creepers killed, you know, while you're walking along stuff, which we have been doing in this world, uh, then you can achieve kind of wonderful stuff like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop some TNT in here, for instance, and if you, oh, okay, we, that that's handy, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if we just do a bunch of stuff like this, we'll also um, replace the map with that now, for instance. Uh, always to get into the ground like so. So you're destroying some like real stuff. And just like in this one, you know, little video, like just, you know, just under 10 minutes, just over maybe by the time we finish this. Um, but you know, just this one, I don't know why I'm just ignoring this zombie. Let's let's try and get him hit with the TNT. That's my goal here. So walk into the walk into the TNT. Oh god, okay, we missed just a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? Let, let's just let's just kill the zombie. And you can see, like, just in this one little thing, we can destroy and make the level of this like sand place go down quite a bit. Let's uh, also do it over here, for instance. Okay, that, that was a little bit of a mess up, but it's fine. You can you can see how just like all of this stuff is like slowly happening bit by bit and we're making this just huge destruction. Even with just 15 TNT, you can do a lot. Even with just like a few people coming together and being like, let's destroy the desert. You can do some, we just broke our helmet. We got it. <laughs> uh, you, you can do some really impressive, really interesting stuff. And uh, hopefully this is an inspiration for you. Set a goal for something in Minecraft and then just try to do it. Even if that goal is like weeks away, um, if you're committed to something, you can have a lot of fun doing it, at least in my opinion. And uh, it's something I think is a lot of fun because, again, um, 
there's so many enjoyable things in Minecraft that you don't necessarily think about all the time, where you're like, I want to play Minecraft, but I'm not really sure why. Um, then maybe, you know, like, that's, honestly, that's why I cover a lot for my channel. Like, if you want to find some interesting builds that aren't just, like, normal style builds, then I, I'll cover a bunch of, like, weird things you can do regarding that. If you want to... I almost got myself trapped in that hole there. If you want to like, um, you know, work on construction projects, I've, I've done so many and they've all been so fun. And honestly, you can start small, like destroy a witch's hut and rebuild it or just destroy a desert or just destroy, you know, one of these things. And um, again, hopefully this inspires you and shows you just how much you can shape Minecraft if you get stuff that you know, right? So as you can see, that's pretty much done now, I think. Um, uh, so using just 12 TNT, I don't, did this not detonate or something? Uh, using just 12 TNT, as you can see right here, we've now, what used to just be like a very big desert next to this thing, has been basically entirely destroyed. We've got all this sand in that time too, so we'll destroy this as well. Make sure the, the ground level goes in lower. And as long as you use, um, you know, TNT wisely, you can get a lot of destruction done. As long as you use your time wisely, you can build giant things if you like planet in advance and stuff. Uh, if you know what you're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, the value of planning in Minecraft is good, but also just the value, oh god. Did we detonate the TNT? Okay, the TNT undetonated again. I'm not sure if that's common or if that's like me just not detonating it correctly. But yeah, you can see um, the the, sh the shape, uh, the, the impact you can have in the world. Hopefully that inspires you. If it doesn't, then uh, hopefully you know, like know what I was up to. Because for the past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of this world. And I've really been liking that I can play across all my devices. Like, the Bear Together thing at first, it just seemed like it was a gimmick. But the fact that you can play the same world on all your devices, if you have it on Realms at least. Um, the fact that you can, uh, you know, like play with anyone anywhere. And uh, I, I know there's a lot of benefits to this version I've been finding through this world. And I just wanted to kind of share that that's what I've been up to this past week. And hopefully, uh, you're, hopefully you've all been enjoying seeing that and stuff. And also, I'll be doing this in live streams if you want to, like, see me doing my favorite Survive World. Because, honestly, that's that's what I want to do more of on YouTube. Just like, oh, yeah, I want to play some games because I do that every single day anyway. Uh, why not stream it and share a little bit with that off, off you, with, with you, not off you. But hopefully, you all do enjoy that. And hopefully, you enjoy this video, uh, seeing just how much you can destroy in, like, three minutes of a video, as well as uh, seeing how much we've destroyed across the uh, weeks that we've been running this and how much we'll be doing in the future, because I want to do updates every like, you know, few months showing you just how much progress can be made. And if you watch the streams, you'll see progress maybe every week or two. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. Oh, one more bit of TNT. Uh, I have videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see those daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. That still hurt me. <laughs>